guys, Robby46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP21 on the Xbox Series X. It's time for the season finale. We've got two races to go, Sepang and Valencia. And then we move up to Moto2, which I'm really excited about. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So we've got four laps around Sepang. This is going to be difficult. Is it wet? Is it dry? It's dry at least, so that's something. But... <laughs> We've only got four laps to uh, to try and win from the back of the grid. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Okay, so it is race time. Um, morning warm up. I was two and a half seconds quicker than anyone else, which doesn't bode well for the AI, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully, a good race, but I don't know if uh, morning warm up is anything to go by. And we've only got four laps as well. Just a few moments to go until the riders battle away on track. Okay. See what we can do. Here we go. Penultimate round of the season. Oh, do I really want to be on the inside for turn one? Oh. Probably not, and I've messed that up anyway. Although they have left quite a bit of a gap there, so but now I'm on the outside for turn two, and I've been hung out to dry. Okay, so oh, a few people getting on the inside curve there, and that made them go to the uh, the other side of the track. Oh, is that our good friend Yamanaka there? I think it is. Power mapping two. Alright, that was good. But now I've uh, gone in too hot, so it wasn't that good. Not in the points yet. So we've kind of almost hit a wall, so to speak, in terms of progressing. Though we have just made up a place, but we're not in the points just yet. Oh, someone went down. That might have been Fanati then, I think it was. Okay. Are we going to be stuffed up the inside here? Yes, we are. Okay. I'll tell you what. They're doing better than I was expecting so far. I was really expecting them to... Uh, well, I was half expecting myself to be in the lead by now, to be fair, considering how, oh, how much quicker I was in morning warmer. I just uh, catch them at the wrong time. And they just get in the way through the corners. Oh, that's way too hot to turn one. That's fine, that's fine. There's still progress that we've made. They all go on the inside curve there. That really hinders their uh, mid-corner speed. Trying to get past both Leo parts at the moment, but it's not going to work. I'm on the outside now. Not really where I want to be. At the inside, though. Tell you what. Oh, wrong gear. That worked better, though, than the previous lap. So we are making good progress now. Inside the top ten. Can we get any higher? Use a lot of rear brake then, because otherwise I wouldn't have stopped. We 
We do get a good run through this next left hand there. Although that wasn't so good to be fair. Someone's gone down again. Oh, nearly got clipped by Fodger there. My little plan didn't quite work, trying to get a slightly tighter exit. Now we go down towards the final corner. I will take a wider line. Not as wide as uh, Rodrigo there though. Trying to stay in 7th place. Fastest lap of the race, 214.3. Yeah, we've held it right. We've actually got it to stop for turn one that time. Okay. On the inside curve they go and they bounce off. We are effectively oh, in the leading group. The Costa had a bit of a moment on the uh, exit there. It's allowed me to get through. Oh, that was good. That was good. Can we get Messia? Yes, we can. Can we hold it though? I think we can. Okay, fourth place now. I've only got one more lap after this one. Just starting to uh, get into my groove now. That was better. I know what's going to happen here if I did try to get up the inside. Honda, one, two, three, four, five, with Suzuki there in fifth place. Right, I'm going to try and cut underneath when they go a little bit wide. Okay, didn't work, didn't work, had a bit of a slide on the exit. This is the final lap of the race. We're pretty much done, well my lap time I just done was a thousand of a second slower than my previous lap, which was the fastest lap of the race. This is it, this is the final lap. Okay, couldn't turn in when I wanted to because Rodrigo was in the way. I think this is the shortest lap, the shortest race lap-wise that we've had to do in career mode. Oh, Rodrigo's still up the inside. Okay, we got him. Oh, we've gone wide, we've gone too wide. It's gonna, oh! Okay, just pushing too much. Unsettled the bike quite dramatically there. Luckily we stayed on, but of course cost me time. Oh, the rear is letting go. Someone's gone down. Only got a few corners to go. I know I've still got power mapping 3 to use, but I don't want to rely on that too much. Just try and race how we are at the moment. I don't think we're going to win. It would have to be a hell of a final corner. We are gaining on slipstream. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be third, I think. Yeah, third. That was a close race, though. That was very good. The stars of this thrilling race Didn't even have the fastest lap. lap. So let's take advantage of this moment. Who did that go the to then? Three final results. That went to Antonelli down in 23rd place. Okay. Well, look how close the top three were. Less than a tenth of a second separating all three of us. That is what you call a finish. What a race. So, yeah. We uh, extend our lead even more there. Not that it matters. Oh, we've we've regained the team championship lead by one point. With one race to go. I don't think we're going to do it, but you never know. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Hot third firm eight, third place. Morale, is that my first third place? The and the knowledge that the rider Potentially. And extremely competitive. I can't remember if we've had a third place this season so far. That was a good race. I really enjoyed that. Really, really came down to, uh, you know, the last shot out of the final corner. Binder had the same idea I did. I managed to go a bit tighter than both of them. Spun up the rear a little bit too much. Um, obviously, if I used power map in three, I probably could have beaten both of them. But uh, I decided to, to go against using power map in three for that final lap just to see what we could do with power mapping too. So then, one race to go. Valencia, the final round of the season and it is going to be six laps. Let's go. Are you wet? Are you dry? You are dry. Excellent. Let's go. Right then, final race of the season. Final race in Moto3. What can we do? I mean, I was two seconds quicker in morning warm-up, but as we saw in Sepang, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Right. Let's get underway. Just a few moments to go, and the lights will go out at the Ricardo Tormo track in Valencia. So yeah, final Moto3 race, although I've got a plan. When they update the Moto3 AI, I'm going to start a career on PS5, but only use the official teams instead of the custom team this time. I think that would be a good way to mix it up a bit, and obviously to see how far the, uh, the AI have come in terms of not being dumb or making any silly mistakes. Uh, oh, they've all gone wide there. Oh! Thanks for that, guys. Just randomly stopping that. Right, power mapping to save some fuel. Out on the curb. My good friend Yamanaka. Not quite in the points yet, but we nearly are. Oh, hey, hello. Going around the outside seemed to have worked. Although not so much on the exit. We couldn't really get any tighter then because we had Nepa and Artigas on the inside. Okay, we've got track limits warning there because we went on the painted section. Which they do use in real life. Oh, very wide again. up the inside. Oh, 
Right, eventually we get back past him. I would of course like to uh, finish on a high. Finish with a win. But, to wait and see. Good place to be. Although it did eventually work. They seem to come off the throttle a little bit around that corner, don't they? Oh. Oh, another track limit's worn it. Someone's just gone down as well. About to lose a position, I think. Just at the fastest lap, 41.7. Close in, close in. Okay, there's Mino done. And there's Toba done. So we're up to eight. Wide through there as well. No, that didn't work on uh, Alcova that time. Okay, that worked around the outside of two of them. Worked a tree. Fast lap 40.9. Front two are trying to get away. Oh, that was good. That was good. Front turn tighter. That's us up to third. I'm pretty sure the AI used to do that on uh, MotoGP 20, go wider turn two. And they're still doing it on this game. And surely you'd think they would use all the data that the AI learned from MotoGP 20 and put it into MotoGP 21 to make it more competitive. As we go into the lead on lap four. Oh, got too hot. Way too hot. Oh, that's two of them through. It's a bit wide as well. Sergio Garcia was looking for the inside, but he didn't get it. about this corner. And he always seems to struggle with it a little bit. Excellent. Second place. Soon to be the lead. There we go. An ultimate lap of the race now. I tell you what, that inside curve on turn one is actually quite smooth. It's probably the smoothest curve I've been on in this game so far. The rest of them just seem to be like bloody speed bumps. Oh, a bit wobbly on the brakes there. I lost us a bit of time.
Okay, we are starting to pull away. Front tyre not in good condition. Not on the left hand side anyway, but saying that, the rear isn't in much better condition. Of course, we do have MotoGP at Jerez this weekend. Looking forward to that. Nearly pulled away by one second. I can take that final corner however I want it then. Right, let's do it. Power mapping three for the final lap of Moto 3. Let's do it. Fastest lap I've just set as well. Looking forward to going up to Moto2, I have to say. But again, that's probably the second MotoGP game in a row where I've actually enjoyed Moto3. It was MotoGP19 backwards. I haven't really enjoyed uh, Moto3. Even when it used to be 125s. The 20 and 21, I've enjoyed Moto3. It's not usually my strong suit, but uh, yeah, it seems to be uh, much, much better. It suits me better now. Right, it'd be interesting to see what kind of cutscene we get as well. Is it going to be the same as MotoGP 20? Or is it going to be a slightly different cutscene? Run to the line. We've done it. Another win. And we pulled away by a huge margin there. Over 3.7 seconds. There we go. Starting to fill up with the fastest lap. 40.1. So that would have been on the, the, fastest, the, the last lap as well. From this Moto3 event. Done. Won by 194 points in the end. Wow. Yeah, oh no, we didn't get we didn't get it. We lost it by five points. Oh, that's annoying. If we'd had a teammate, we'd have had a much better a um, chance to the victory, of winning the team championship. Just missed out on five points. Priceless championship points. I was doing it for the chat the team championship, but unfortunately, even getting a win didn't help. Well, that is probably the easiest Moto3 season I've ever had to do as well. Like I said previously, just from the get-go, we were able to win races. Oh, no, it is a different cutscene. We're actually riding. Where are we riding to? Into the garage? Yeah. And yeah, that looks very similar, just a slightly different camera angle. If he goes in like does that at the, at the camera, then yeah, it will be the same. I don't know if he done a double hug in Mighty GP20, I can't remember that. Are you going to do it to the camera? Yeah, but again, a different camera angle. So it does seem to be a very similar cutscene, just different, uh, different camera angles. Yeah, that's the same as well to the back of the garage. Oh, hang on. What's... This is new. It's got lots of different helmets there. Are these like past champions? Yes, they are. Well, that's cool. That's a nice little addition. And then we get to put our... There's Mia's helmet. And there goes ours on the pedestal. Although we're not technically in the MotoGP category. So... Looks a bit weird with the Moto3 champion's helmet next to the MotoGP past champions. There we go. That's a nice little detail though. We'll make more sense when we're in the 
in the MotoGP category. Do we get to have a trophy? Yeah, there's the glowing pedestal again. Oh yeah, it's just that generic trophy for Moto3. It'll probably be the same for Moto2. Hand on hips, and... There we go. Doesn't absorb it like it used to in MotoGP20 at the beginning of that, that game. We've done it! We have won the Moto3 World title. Moto2 is next. There is our results. Literally, on the podium, we did have a third place. That was back in Portugal. I forgot about that after we crashed and remounted. So the only time we finished off the podium was Mazzano when we got taken out or tangled with uh, Messia. But incidentally, that is where we actually won the championship as well. So, yeah, literally, all the other races, we've been on the podium apart from one. And for that is why we're champion. And look how many wins we got as well. Lots. Okay. Personal manager. I need nothing for MotoGP. Moto2 though. Is that? No, not every team for Moto2. Every custom team though. And everything is high. But we've already signed. So let's look at the standings for all three categories. So I obviously won Moto3. Pedro Acosta got second. His teammate Joan Messia third. Gabriel Rodrigo got fourth. And John McPhee got fifth. Moto2. Remy Gardner did win that from Sam Lowe's in second. Ralph Fernandez in third. Marco Bezzecchi fourth. And Fabio Di Antonio ended up in fifth. MotoGP, Fabio Quattararo won that championship from Maverick Vinales in second place. Joan May got third, Jack Miller fourth, and Alex Rins is fifth. Well, that is that. Time to just... Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Wrong button. Let's just advance the weeks and go on to Moto2. That's it. New season. I think we'll go with the official calendar again. I think when we do... The career on uh, PS5, I think we'll go for the full calendar. But for this one, we're going to go with the official calendar. So back with the official calendar. We are with Moto2, of course. I will do my customization off screen and everything. But we'll start that next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We have finished Moto3. We start Moto2 next time. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, wash your hands, and look after yourselves. See you!